Okay, uh, you will be tying a pheasant tail, and it is going to look something like you see here. And this fly is a pretty amazing fly, and it's tied with almost entirely with pheasant tail. And you can see as I rotate it, this gives you an idea from the top. Um, there you see it's pretty much pheasant tail, pheasant tail, pheasant tail, a little peacock. Um, but I just want to give you an example of what it looks like um, before we get into it later on. Uh, but there's a number of great nymphs we could have tied. Um, you know, here is a here is a hare's ear, great pattern, all around pattern, and you know other stoneflies and different patterns like this. I mean, there's lots of different bead head and, and patterning type that we could have tied for nymphs. But I thought the pheasant tail would be a good one to start off with because it's fairly straightforward and it's a great pattern it catches a ton of fish so um, just a little uh, foreshadowing for you here and you can click on the link below um, to check out a few of the patterns that are out there just on Google I mean there's a bunch of different nymphs just to get a feel for what is out there and um, yeah so I'll be I'll be digging into a pheasant tail at a later point but just wanted to give you a heads up on that